guys, how is everyone doing today? Um, I'm here for a new video and it's a really exciting video because it is actually an unboxing video. Um, I did make two purchases from Fashion File, so there is two unboxings um, today. Um, I also got my hair done today, so if I'm playing with it a lot, I'm really sorry about that. Alright, so I think I'm just going to unbox the items. This is um, also my first impressions of seeing the items. I received these items on Friday and today's Tuesday when I'm filming this, so I haven't even opened the boxes. Um, that's been like the longest time I've ever waited to open a package, but it's kind of nice, the anticipation. So we're going to go ahead and open the big one first. I have my receipt here, which I'll just put right here. And I guess I'm just gonna go right in and open it. This is a big bag. Um, I've wanted this bag for, I'd say the past six months. It is a different size from a bag that I already have. The reason I got this bag was because of Roll the Clip and Miley Cyrus. And I bought these because they reminded me of Miley Cyrus. Hello, Miley. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Fabulous. Thank you. How did you miss you? How you doing? Bye bye. Have a good day. I just saw this bag and I loved how much of a statement that it is. I'm gonna show you guys the bag. Oh, I really like it. Yeah, it doesn't come with the lock, but. Oh. So I did pick up the Speedy 40 in Monogram. This canvas is such nice canvas. Oh my goodness, I really like this bag. So the hardware is in really good condition. It doesn't even have that green rust that will show up on Speedy bags. And it actually, I do have it on my Speedy 25 which is a 2006. Um, again, I brought this one pre-owned and I live in a dry climate, so this might've been worn in like a wetter climate. Maybe that's why. Um, but the hardware doesn't have that, which is kind of amazing. Um, the Vachetta is a great color. There's no really water staining, maybe a little bit on the chaps. Um, the leather is scratched but this is um, a speedy from the 90s so I was expecting that it looks like this tab was probably replaced which is fine with me um, and this one was made in France and I love that this isn't curling out I hate when those tabs curl out it's just bothers me a little bit so ooh, the zipper's really nice um wow the shutter in here is actually in really good condition as well it might it looks like maybe this vachetta was replaced or it's just in really good condition i don't know let's get the stuffing out uh, so this one was made in January of 1999. I don't know if you can see that. Wow, this bag is so nice. Sorry, like I, <laughs> I'm seeing it for the first time, so I'm trying to get a look of it. Um, I do, I am looking to get a lock for this because um, I want a lock and keys. Fun fact, my Speedy 25 actually just came with the lock, so I've never been able to take that off. So I am looking to buy a padlock and keys for both of these bags. But, oh, it's so, wow, sorry, I'm like really excited. It's so cute. I love a statement bag, wow. It's so nice, you can totally, here, 
you can totally tell the difference of a 90s Speedy and a Speedy that was made in the 2000s. So I might do a comparison video on that. Um, this is just an unboxing and a first impressions, but I will show you my Speedy 25 compared to the Speedy 40. I went with the Speedy 40 because it was between this one and the Speedy 35, but I just thought like, why not get the Speedy 40? Like, go big or go home, right? And of course I saw it on Miley Cyrus and I was like, I really like it. Let me cut off the tag, because you're staying. Let's, actually I'm gonna look at the corners. Wow, the corners are in really good condition too. Uh, except here, there's a little tear on the piping, but it's a 99, it's from 1999, so, oh, sorry, oh my gosh, I love it, oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so let's unbox, where am I going to put you, right here, let's go ahead and unbox the other item that I got because of the sale, oh. let's unbox this item I got because of the sale. Now, um, this item is something that I wanted for such a long time. They were popular in 2015 to 2016, and I totally missed the boat luxury-wise in 2014 through 2016 because um, in 2014 I graduated high school, I was just going into college. Um, I kind of had my first exposure to luxury and to Louis Vuitton and to all the luxury handbags. Um, but of course I couldn't afford to buy any of that stuff and at the same time I just thought, oh like, I'm too young to have these things, I shouldn't have these things. But I always admired it from afar um, and these were so popular back then. And I got one, I snatched one up for probably I want to say like 60% off the retail. I knew, I knew that these little accessories would not be popular and they were going to flood the resale market and I could get them for a really good deal. Um, another thing with this little accessory, uh, my, my last little spiel and then I'll show it because I know it's annoying. Um, I only ever wanted to get one of these things if they were vintage or pre-owned, um, not new because they are made with real fur, and I do have a little bit, um, a little bit wear of that, just for myself, not for other people. But um, so I'm really glad that I got this um, pre-owned. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. Oh wow! Okay, it even comes with the um, the actual dust bag. Oh. Okay, hang on. I just need to take the tag off because I'm keeping it. Look at it. Okay, so I got one of the Fendi charms. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's insane. It's insane. I got one of the Fendi charms. Um, this is the Carl Lagerfeld charm, or the Carl charm with the studs, with the blue mohawk. Oh my gosh. You guys, this like looks like it's never even been used. Like the only little flaw with it, there's like a tiny, tiny indent. <gasps> I love it! Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, I'm really excited. Okay, so I got one of these charms. I've always loved the Fendi charms. Um, and I'm going to pop it on the Speedy because I think it will look really cute. How do I do this? I'm so excited. I'm sorry. I'm like so giddy right now. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's obviously like um, very ostentatious. Uh, is it tacky? I don't know. We, I don't know. But I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Wow. Okay, so I love the charm, but I do want to try putting it on my Fendi tote because I thought that it would look really nice. So let me take this off. 
open it enough. Should be fine. Look how cute! Oh my goodness! That is so cute. I want to show a shoulder shot, but I'm wearing like a baby tee and I don't want to show my stomach. That, that is cute. Come on. So I want to go ahead and share the prices with you. Um, just to be transparent and it always helps people out. Um, so I don't know which receipt this is for. Amount on the website, the actual amount was $395. Um, and then it was on sale for $375, but since it was on sale, they had the extra 10% off of sale items. So I got um, another $37.50 off of it. And then unfortunately, I live in California, so the tax was $28, um, but it made it around $365, and I am so happy with that price for that charm. I don't know if um, anyone owns one of those charms. They were pricey. So it's just the Louis Vuitton Monogram Speedy in the 40 size. This one was $550. It was the starting price on the website. There wasn't a sale or anything on that. Um, and then again, I just did the payment program on that because I just didn't want to spend that much money at once which is really helpful on Fashion File. They have this 60, I think it's 60 day, don't quote me on that, where you can pay off your bag um, if you want to do it that way. Um, the tax was 45 and so I got it um, at 595 for a good condition vintage Speedy. <gasps> I'm just obsessed, I'm sorry guys. I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I just, I love it. Even without the palm, the this charm, I love it. It's so cute. And the studs aren't pointed, so I don't think it's going to scratch the canvas. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead really quick, switch the um, what I'm wearing, my current bag, into this bag. The current bag I'm using is my Kathy Van Zeeland little crown tote, which I love. Um, so... What do I want to put in there first? All right, I want to start with the bigger things. So I have my budget notebook. Actually, let's put this bag down here. I'm going to throw my budget notebook in here. Um, my sunglasses with the case. Uh, my essentials pouch. Um, then ooh, this was open my coin pouch my keys I know this is gonna be one big black hole but I'm used to that I have my little mini first aid kit my notepad my mask my business cards My other little essentials bag, I don't carry makeup with me because I don't really wear it when I go out that often. Um, and this is um, the stuff that I'm pulling out and the, and the bag that I'm using. This is max what I use on a daily basis. Um, I don't have all this stuff all the time, but if I am using a bag that has a lot of space, this is all that I will put into it. A hairbrush, a little card wallet with extra cards. And then I don't, I'm really bad, I don't use a main wallet because if a bag has a zipper pouch or some kind of side pouch, I'll just put my main cards in there um, and then it frees up space. I don't have to carry a wallet. So all my main cards are going to go in the little pocket right here. Wow, I think this was replaced. It was because it's really stiff but nice. Okay, that's in there. And then my last two things, my flashlight, my hand sanitizer, and I might put pouches in here, but I don't know yet. Um, yeah, that's everything. And I always use my speedies open. I don't close them. 
And I love speedies that are slouchy, so if that bothers you, sorry. Um, you guys. Wow, it's so cute. Um, I want to back up more, but... Oh, it's so cute. So it does have um, slouch, but I love that. Wow, okay, so let me hold it up so you can see the slouch. I'm gonna have to figure out the charm a little bit just so that it sits okay, but. Um, yeah, so this is my new to me Speedy 40 and Fendi Carlito charm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do plan on doing um, kind of a comparison between my Speedy 25 and my other bags. Also, I really appreciate all of the feedback I'm still getting on my luxury handbag collection. You guys have been so nice and I just really appreciate it. Um, I just do this for fun and because I like to and I know I'm not like the most like kind of general YouTube personality, but this is just what I like to do and if you guys want to follow along, that's just so nice to me and thank you for that. So this was my unboxing slash first impressions video. Hopefully I'll have some more coming soon and please comment any questions down below because I will answer them. And um, that is also my aim with these videos is just to be as informative as possible for people um, and just to be really helpful. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, one thing, I just wanted to squeeze this in here. I did update some info on my luxury handbag collection because my Fendi tote here, um, I was browsing on Rebag the other day because they have that 15% off spring sale. I don't know if today's the last day or if it's still going on, but they just posted a listing of this bag. So if you want one of these, um, I linked it in my luxury handbag collection video if you do want one. Um, it is pretty pricey. Like I said, um, those bags are pretty pricey when they're on retail sites because there's not a lot of them around. So I just wanted to put that in there. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I hope to see you soon.